What's going on boys and guys here, welcome back to another tactics update. Bit of a different one, I kind of want you a bit of your opinion. What I want to do um, this year is, I've been very fortunate this year to be an Arsenal season ticket holder, saving up my entire life. This year got very lucky that I got a ticket. Um, and um, I, was in, I was actually going to sell most of my tickets, but we played so well. I was like, I'm just going to go to every single game. But... I want to do real life tactics inside FIFA. So let me know if there's something that's going to interest you. I want to do one for Arsenal anyway. And maybe for some of the big teams. But let me know if that interests you. As we're at the team of the season stage. There's a couple of three things I want to focus on. Okay guys. Tips is good promo. But if you want the most meta tactics. As in for abusing the game. Use last week's. At this stage, this is the time where you prepare for the next FIFAs and you have fun. So we're going to incorporate some fun tactics here for you guys. Yeah, these are just tactics to have some fun. You're still going to win. They're not going to be overly attacking where you've got one defender back. They're going to be reasonably attacking, but they're going to be fun to play. And I think that is what you should focus on. First of all, we've got a 3-5-2. It's a very attacking 3-5-2. It's my favorite. Pressure on heavy touch. Um, long ball. Old gen, you people still prefer direct passing. Look, I prefer forward runs now on both new gen and old gen. That's just me. I know the mass community don't prefer forward runs, but slowly, slowly, people are converting. Even pros are now using forward runs even more. Um, this is my my three five two that I've loved since last year, since day one. It's a really fun tactic to play. Maybe you can argue this three four one two. So I'm just going to go through this. But you got the two strikers to stay central, get their by and stay forward. Cam on stay forward. Um, so you've got very, very attacking three players on stay forward. You still defend on the back five. That's because both the left mid right mid have come back in defense, get in behind and get into box or cross. Both CDMs are cut passing length while attacking. You can introduce one of these on balanced and a back three on stay back. This defends in a five. Almost five in the two of the CDMs with the three strikers up front. It's a very good counter attack formation. So if you really enjoy counter attacking or if you just enjoy defending stable like I do, but you still want three players on stay forward, but you find, for example, a 4 one 2 one 2 or 4 3 2 one not to be attacking enough, that's actually a really good option. I really like the two strikers and the cam in behind. Um, it's a very good formation. Probably still makes the meta formation tier list, but with pressure on heavy touch, it makes it a bit more aggressive. As I said, look, to be honest, there's no real rewards. To be, I mean, I know there's shapeshifters and stuff like that, but, you know, just have fun, guys. That's what I want to promote, and you kind of want to try new things out. EFC preparation starts now, guys. If you want to be, if you're watching this right now and you're saying, you know what, Neil, this year I was a Division Three player, but I went to Division One, or you're, let's say you're a Rank Five player, you want to get to Rank Two or Rank One, this is the year. You need to understand that a lot of tactics you have to play, and you have to understand what works for you. This is why this year, if you looked at a lot of my videos exclusively, a lot of my tactics, same one from last week, so you can just copy and paste this, but. A lot of my tactics I've tried and evolved different tactics. It's because if I give you all a pro player's tactics, people don't understand most pro player's tactics. It's like everything's unbalanced. So if you give that to an average player, they're going to say, oh, the tactics don't work. Well, of course tactics don't work because a lot of it is to do with manual play. That is why I've tried to make every tactic for the average player. The idea is if someone is a rank two player, you push them to a rank one. When you're talking about pro level, it's a complete different level compared to like a casual level. So you just have to bear that in mind. And that's what I'm be trying to do this year. Introduce you to different formations. And what we're going to do after this week is we're just going to introduce some formations that quote unquote didn't make it. They're still going to be, look, I'm not going to offer you junk. I'm not that kind of guy. I won't upload. You, you know me. I don't upload for sometimes for a week because I don't think I'm going to have to upload. Um, I'm not going to just release junk and say it's good. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spam videos out. I got formation at the 4-3-3, the 4-5-1, stuff like that. And of course, the 4 one 2 one 2 wide that you may enjoy playing. The key is finding your play style. This is actually a really good one that I actually forgot about. I used this a lot last year, but I never used it this year. Um, it's just because five backs were so effective. There wasn't really a use case for it, but a lot of people still liked it. Pressure on heavy touch, 27 width, 52 fast, but I play forward runs. Now, this is attacking in a narrow, compact 4 one 2 one 2 The difference is... Your left back and right back, they're the ones that go forward. And then Vieira drops in between. So when you're attacking, Vieira comes back and it makes a back do with Saliba and Lacroix. So you'll, um, Saliba, Vieira, and Lacroix like that. Kind of like a triangle. Vieira acts like a temporary centre back when your ball is in your possession. So that is why we have a narrow width because you want the central place for Tiki. This is really a Tiki tackle formation. I like the 3 5 2, you don't really have those players close by. And I like the 4 3 1 2. You don't really have that that kind of defense to attack kind of logic. 
And you kind of, so what the idea is behind this is a very good tiki taka formation, fast put up play. The idea is short passing forward runs. The truth is, no one really plays this way because the meta is L1 triangle over the top, through ball, go down the wing, pass the ball inside the box, do a first time shot, or just do a step over spam, and that's it. The so called skill gap. That's a question in itself. Well, that's not a skill gap really, it's just mechanic abusing. But anyway, um, stay central, stay forward for both the strikers. Cam on stay forward. So it's similar to, like to the 3 5 2. And these, you've got three players on stay forward. When you're defending, you're going to be defending in a four and a midfield three. Okay? So that's why these players all on stay forward. The left center mid, the right center mid, this is what makes it very attacking. Both of them on get forward and cover center. Both of them cover center, get forward. If you want, it's logical to put cover wing on this uh, because that way when the left back and right back go forward, Sack and Brandt will kind of cover those areas defensively. Me personally, I don't like it. Um, I, I just I prefer to cover the center of the pitch. I can always move Lacroix or Saliba to the wing areas if I need to. Um, but worst case, I want to control the middle of the pitch. It's just the way that I like doing it. If you want to change that, feel free to put that to cover wing if you find that your left back and right back are too far forward. CDM, cut passing lanes, covers in a conservative and drop between defenders. So this is what makes it, drop between defenders, don't forget, that's when you're attacking only. It's attacking tactic. So when you have the ball, Vieira comes in, you make a back three with Saliba and Lacroix. Then Roberto Carlos and um, Frimpong both be attacking fullbacks on join the attack, overlap. Ideally, high, high work rates here. If you can have high, high for like even these guys over here, you're laughing. But the idea behind this is you're attacking a 4 1 2 1 2. The drop between defenders, he, the Vieira's not really a centre back, but he's not a CM. He's kind of like in between. Think of it like a, almost like a sweeper sometimes. You can think of it that way. He does both of those roles, you can argue, in FIFA. But the idea is you're attacking a 4 1 2 1 2. Your left back and right back, they're there to support. So if you prefer to attack with your wingers, you're better off treating. This is why I've always said to you, the 3-5-2 in itself, that's, think of this as a CDM. That's the two center mids. That's the cam and that's the striker. You see it's got the same spine as a 4-1-2-1-2, but the left mid and right mids, they're more active inside the pitch. So let me move this around one second. And like this. Um, you see the left mid and right mids, they're more active. So if you prefer to shoot, and this is where you will understand with your gameplay. If you prefer to shoot with your left mid and right mids, you prefer to be involved in the play, then you choose a 352. If you like the left, if you if you don't if you like the width of a 352, but the 41212 narrow is too narrow, you might like this. But these players, I will say, are supplementary players. These are just there, like if you get pinned and you have to go recycle the ball, they're going to be there on the sides. They're not going to be internal. Even if you put inverted on these guys, you can try. You can put inverted. They're just going to stay wide. There's nothing you can do. Even with 10 width, um, they're still going to stay wide. I don't know why that works like that. They don't come invert. Don't expect no, um, no Zinchenko. In fact, in fact, that clip actually earlier probably shows it very, very well. Don't expect, for example, Zinchenko, as you can see over there. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can't. Let me see if, if you can. You can't. Okay, don't worry. Um, but don't be expecting Zinchenko, basically, to be coming inside the middle area. It's not It's not going to work like that. Um, so, unfortunately, you can't. I wish you could. Like, trust me, I wish you could on FIFA, but you just cannot. And, um, yeah. I mean, there's not a solution for it. So don't expect like Zinchenko to be like positioned. See how is Zinchenko positioned over here? So when I'm in my Arsenal tactics video, you're going to see I have to do a different formation. But yeah, you can't make a left back actually inverted. I don't know why. I wish you could, but don't think that with me. Give the feedback to EA. But my feedback, of course, if you are watching EA, please allow us to invert our left back and right back natively how they would in real life. Not just so they go a bit more centralized and go forward. The 4 2 4, I'm keeping it. It's just such a fun formation to play. Um, what I didn't tell a lot of you guys, well, I think most of you guys figured this out. A lot of people are just playing this from minute one. Now, when I, I actually, I've mentioned this before. If I'm in a rush for my weekend league, I don't have time to play my games. Let's say I'm like talking like two hours to go. I just played 20 games in like two hours. Like, you're not going to get the highest of ranks. Yeah, you expect yourself, like, depend on your skill level. If you're rank one, if you're a proper pro player, you can probably blitz the entire weekend league. But I would say expect yourself to get one or two ranks less. 
So if you're getting rank three now, I think you probably get rank four, rank five, rank four. It, it depends on how good you play, but this is just very attacking. And basically the idea is to make your opponent rage quit. Such a good formation. It's the best comeback formation inside the game. I mean, it's almost a cheat code. Um, to be honest, it should be banned next year. Not the formation itself, but the way it works with constant pressure. In my opinion, it should not exist in FIFA. I just think you just there's there's no rule, there's no actual playing to this formation. This is getting the ball and overloading and just pressing. And you know how it is, you can have one stand there and you can still press. That's whole palaver altogether. And that's stay back for both the left back, right back. And that's the center mids. And then these are the tags. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in serious about the tactics videos. Um but got some big plans for you next year. And don't forget EFC. We've already started the videos for EFC on my FIFA school series. Patreon.com forward slash Neil, guys. We're doing real life football content. No, sorry. Real life game analysis in FIFA. So we have real life examples and we take in FIFA. So examples just like this on how to defend. Stuff like that. Chewing gum, guys. Almost choked on my chewing gum there. Um, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. And of course, catch you next time. Peace out.